So we went fishing yesterday. Um, we had a pretty good time. We caught some good fish, um, but Gunner learned a lesson. So we went fishing yesterday. Um, we had a pretty good time. We caught some good fish, um, but Gunner learned a lesson. And I want him to tell you what that lesson is. So Gunner, what'd you learn when we went fishing yesterday? Things, fishing things. Lure. lure. One of my lures. Oh, uh, uh, the lures that we went while we went to the storm boat. And and then like when we got to our need and pause, five minutes when we got there, I threw it under a tree and there was a stick and then we could, could never get it out. So we learned that trees eat lures. And this was a good one. I only got one cast out of it. In one cast we caught a fish. And then it went away for good. The pond ate it. So Gunner learned <laughs> that the pond eats lures. But anyway, so we're gonna, Gunner's gonna show you how to tie a lure, how he ties lures on fishing poles. So he wanted to do that for you guys. Uh, he's got his brand new toolbox right there, or tackle box that he's got set up. His brand new rod and reel behind him that um, we've had for a little while. And he just wants to show y'all how he does a lure. So I'm gonna swap this camera around and we're gonna try that. So what you have to do first. So what you have to do first is there's this little hole right here, and you put the the string right in the middle of it, and then you cut it. Yeah, you gotta mash it hard to cut it. There you go. Put it in there. Squeeze them hard. There you go, perfect, bingo. So now we got that lure off, that one will go back in your tackle box. And then what other craziness do you want to put on here? Um, I have this one. All right, so a dark brush jig, and that's good. That'll be good for catching bass and some weeds. Okay, so we got messed up with storage uh, on my iPhone. So we're gonna pick right back up where we left off. So anyway, this cool guy has this little weedless thing right here that'll keep some weeds and all kinds of stuff off your hook but pretty good for fish that feed in a little bit darker water like we do at our pond. But Gunner's gonna tie that on there for you. So here you go, sir. And I also have all these I could put on there also. Oh, he's got a few, he's adding a collection, starting a collection here, which is great. I probably was about his age when I started uh, so I just with tackle it, boxes. Stick yep. it right there, right here? No, nope, right here on the nose. So you're gonna run it right through that hole. Uh, all right, uh, pull you some out the other side. Now tie you a regular knot there, pull you a little bit more through. There you go, get you something to work with. Now run it back through. Uh, you want me to do it for this you? This is very annoying, yes. Please. All right, well, here you go. Here, you flip it around and record me doing it. So, flip it there. All right, you're gonna turn it to the cameraman. So, Pull you some slack through there. The kind of knot we like to do is a little twist knot. So you're actually gonna wrap it around and go back through just like that. And then you're gonna double that up, which will keep it from pulling back through. We are not professionals. We just try and make it work. You're gonna pull that right there. Boom, bingo, pull that tight. See, that's not coming through. You take your pliers. What Gunner was trying to show you was that little thing right there. And we're gonna stip it right there. And then bingo. And I'm gonna put it back on Gunner. And now do we have now, Gunner? Uh, a lure. We have uh. a lure. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is uh, Gunner showing us how to tie a knot on a lure. So we're going to do some fishing videos here soon. So you got anything to tell them, Gunner, before we uh, sign off? Because we got to get to church. Um, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Why do they need to hit that like button and subscribe? Because we're awesome, right? <laughs> All right, guys, take care until next time.